in this video, I'm going to talk about my ideas and concepts and images um, that I work with when I'm writing a new piece of music. So basically, how do I transform something that's intangible and kind of create something, you know, um, that uh, describes it musically. So I would say death um, and loss and acceptance are kind of central themes that inspire my work as a composer. So basically my ideas start off as like an energy or emotion or feeling within me that needs to be expressed. And either that energy, emotion or feeling um, can be something such as like a yearning for someone else's love, approval or validation, um, especially if that person is no longer around. Um, it could be a, a relationship that has ended or someone that is close to me that has passed. Uh, it can also be a sense of like acceptance or surrender to my humanity and divinity by allowing myself to kind of uh, be human, kind of accepting my flaws and aspects of myself that, uh, that have not been integrated. And it can also be about seeing something within myself, uh, seeing the beauty in the shadow aspects and I guess uh, expanding my awareness around this horrible beauty uh, of myself, others in the world. So it's an appreciation of allowing what is and allowing myself to be at peace with those aspects of myself. So once I've kind of decided on this energy, emotion, or feeling that I want to work with, I'll start by creating hand-drawn sketches. And this could be like abstract figures or shapes. I can use different colors. Um, and it's very abstract. It's, it's almost like, um, you know, nothing is really set in stone at this point. Right now, it's just kind of almost like just trying to get ideas out and trying to map them onto a visual surface. So um, I, I kind of think of like the different shapes or the different, you know, they're kind of like different characters and how they're going to interact throughout the piece. Um, and these characters can be like certain notes or dynamics, textures, rhythms, um, or other elements that are going to reappear and develop throughout the course of the piece. So after that, I try to think about how these different characters are going to sound, how, they, how do they want to be represented sonically in the piece. And from there, you know, it's just like kind of figuring out what sounds right. And it's more of an intuitive process. It's, it's less about uh, the theory aspect and it's more just about, is it going in the direction that I want it to go? So it, at that point, it just becomes more of just my ear, using my ear to kind of um, to kind of uh, guide me as I go through that process.